Programming Research, the world leader in static analysis solutions, provides the following demonstration which highlights the importance of static analysis and the benefit of QAC in detecting and preventing problems in source code. QAC identifies software defects and non-compliance to coding standards and combines diagnostics and code visualizations with metrics into easy-to-understand, flexible reporting for management and other stakeholders. Designed for engineers, QAC identifies coding problems early in the development cycle, ensuring quality code and coding standard compliance, accelerating and refocusing the code review process, and enhancing reliability, portability, and maintainability. For this demonstration, the open source project PHP version 5.2.9, a stable and well-used code base, has been investigated. PHP is a widely used general purpose scripting language that is especially suited for web development and can be embedded into HTML. Downloading this project and configuring it to be built on a Windows XP system running Sigwin ensures that a compilable code base is ready to be analyzed. QAC can be run from either the main GUI interface directly inside IDEs such as Visual Studio, Eclipse or Wind River or from the command line that can be further integrated into the development or build process, for example, make. For the purposes of this demonstration, we have used a makefile project converter to automatically export the source files and build settings into the QAC environment. The makefile project converter instruments make execution to automatically generate a QAC project file instead of building the code, ensuring that settings used for static analysis are exactly the same as for compilation. QAC's advanced static analysis engine operates on the source code at compile time by reviewing and interrogating each line of code in the translation unit. QAC then takes this further to provide a synonymous link time analysis called cross-module analysis to identify sources of potential problems during linking. QAC produces detailed and summary information regarding the quality and compliance of the project from violations to code structure, metrics to reporting. The PHP project contains 333 source files, each taking about two seconds to analyze. Because QAC supports concurrent analysis on multi-core systems, here we see that analysis times are overlapping. On a dual-core machine, the total project creation and analysis time was about 27 minutes compared to a 16-minute make minus J2 build command. Finding and eliminating problem areas in code is an important task in any development environment. Using QAC's bug catch message filtering, users can effectively and dependably eliminate dangerous, incorrect, and fragile areas of a code base. QAC's deep static analysis, combined with data flow modeling and analysis, equips developers with the tools needed to identify and resolve these issues. Using the message browser, we can see that QAC detected a degenerate expression here. The comment above this line of code indicates the programmer wanted to decrement the object pointed to by Len, but not the pointer itself, which is unfortunately the case because of complicated operator precedence rules in the C language. Each QAC message comes with HTML help that comprehensively explains the corresponding issue as well as offering suggestions for rectifying it. In this area of the code, QAC detected a potential occurrence of division by zero. QAC infers from line 855 that the variable line length can be zero and then sees it being used as a divisor without a conditional guard. Preventing bugs from appearing or laying dormant in code and reducing the time, cost and effort in finding and removing them can be achieved through the introduction and automatic enforcement of coding standards. An example standard is the MISRA C guidelines which form a set of restrictions and a safe subset of the C language suitable for the development of business, mission, and safety-critical systems. MISRA, with a prime requirement for safety-critical use being predictability, aims to promote best practice and eliminate and mitigate undefined and implementation-defined behavior. Applying QAC's compliance module for MISRA C provides the user with detailed results of the occurrences of violations of these guidelines across the entire project. As you can see, there are a number of violations reported against PHP, with an emphasis on ensuring high quality code production, ongoing code maintainability and reliability, and the promotion and introduction of best practices to a development project. 
In combination with language-based coding guidelines to ensure correct and robust behavior of a C program, coding standards and best practices also incorporate guidelines for the capture, monitoring, and control of source code metrics. Complexity metrics are highly recommended and can be used to prevent unwieldy and untestable code being written, and path count, code size, and nesting level metrics all provide indications of code that would be difficult, if not impossible, to test and maintain. Utilizing QAC's full language analysis capabilities, rather than estimation techniques, a number of metrics are calculated as classified by the contexts function, file, and project. QAC's metric browser, as shown here, provides a graphical environment for the review of the various metrics with respect to industry-suggested minimum and maximum values, and provides a normalized caveat chart for direct review of violations of these thresholds. In this case, we are focusing on the three function metrics, cyclomatic complexity, static path count, and executable line count, which are common indicators of complex, difficult to test, and difficult to maintain code. All metric values can be exported for further manipulation and inclusion in reporting, and as you can see, the PHP project contains excessive values for these metrics. With maintenance, new development staff on projects, and possible re-engineering work all appropriate to today's coding projects, understanding, appreciating, and focusing on the structure of the code and the overall project becomes vital to its continued success. QAC provides an active graphic visualization environment to facilitate impact analysis, identification and restructuring of complex and unwieldy logic, optimizing inclusion and dependencies, and aiding in the comprehension of a source base. QAC's function structure diagram graphically represents the control flow within a function. Decisions are displayed as forks in the structure from the base execution path, with loops denoted by dotted lines. Selecting an aspect of the diagram can take you directly to the source code where this branch, switch, loop, or return occurs. Looking at this particular function, we can see that it has a number of loops, two of which, in the middle and the top left, appear to be copy and pasted code. The control flow within the bodies is the same. These loops also have lines crossing over, a break statement jumping just outside, and a return statement denoted with a bold line going all the way to the far right. QAC's Relationship Viewer displays three different types of C code relationships. Includes, Calls, and Refers to, referral to all identifiers with external linkage. Identifying undesired dependencies, optimizing project structure, and ensuring continued clean design are important activities that are facilitated by these relationship diagrams. In this case, we are focusing on the calls relationship, and as can be seen, there are some recursive calls denoted with the red dashed lines, an indirect chain involving the functions pbre and psimpre, and also direct recursion within the function repeat. Incidentally, recursion is also detected by cross-module analysis and reported in the message browser. With an increased emphasis on certification and quality process, the production of artifact documents at milestones throughout a project lifecycle becomes essential to monitoring and continual improvement of the quality code base. It is also possible that there are mandatory requirements to prove the quality of code when bidding for projects or submitting completed work. QAC combines the code level diagnostics and visualizations and metrics into easy to understand flexible reporting. The compliance report shows how well a project complies with the configured coding standard. A summary is shown on the cover page giving details of the size of the project and the number of violations to the coding standard rules. Two compliance indices are shown to give an indication of the adherence to the particular standard. Subsequently, the report highlights coding rules and files with the highest number of violations. This information can be used to decide which areas of the code need the greatest attention to make it more compliant. The quality report, as shown here, uses principal component analysis to derive a relative ranking of the quality of functions and files within the project. This report considers violation occurrences and all metrics as component factors that combine to represent an overall quality figure, thus 
greatly simplifying the metric analysis without compromising accuracy. To facilitate an effective and refocused peer review process, the code review report combines analysis results in the form of violation density with metric values and the relationship and function structure diagrams to provide an overview of the quality and structure of the code. With engineers running QAC analysis as they write code, the peer review can be effectively refocused on discussing design, optimization, and meeting requirements, rather than costly manual investigation of code conformance and correctness. Whatever your project or coding standard, discover for yourself how QAC can improve your software quality. Visit our website or send an email request for more information.